Hello everybody, welcome back to the Max Hamilton Road to the show, episode 149. In the last one, oh, there's a bug on my monitor. We beat the Boston Red Sox 1-0. Um, it was a pretty good game. Uh, Max threw a very good game again, throwing 9 innings, 4 hits, 11 strikeouts. And the complete game shutout. He gets to face the Twins on the road in a day game. They're 68-30 and Gabriel Moyes on the ground, on the, on the mound. Of course, he's on the ground, gravity. Um, but the reason that's important is Gabriel Moya, although being the third pitcher in this rotation, is by far had the best season. He's 13 and two with 105 strikeouts and 100 nearly nine innings, 2.9 ERA and a 1.19 WHIP, and I think he's third in the Cy Young right now, behind Syndergaard and of course Max. Anyways, we are six games back on the Rays. The Twins are 68-30. and 30. This is a very good Twins lineup. I checked in the Adam series, so I'm going to go ahead and go through uh, a quick update on our lineup. Don Hoskins hitting pretty well, very well so far this season. Tyler Wade's been good at short. Steven Fernandez is coming, for, coming around. Grichuk's hit for good power. Frazier's been pretty good at second. Robbie Paul's hit pretty good power. Um, and he's been really good in the field. VR has been decent. Brinson, not great. Reese McGuire, really bad. Um, which is kind of strange because we started really bad, but we completely turned it around. But anyways, here's what their lineup's looking like. Bernardo Colon leads off for them. Tony Kemp hits second. Aaron Judge hits third. Nicholas Castellanos fourth. He rakes against lefties. Miguel Sano fifth. Jonathan Scope 6th, Brian Goodwin 7th, Mitch Garver 8th, and Santiago Porter 9th. Santiago Porter, never mind, he's 31. I thought he was 21. Either way, they're a really good lineup. We're going to be facing their best pitcher right now. So we've got a really tough game ahead of us, but let's go ahead and hit our bullpen day or whatever. Um... Some control couldn't hurt. Do we need this? We do need this. All right, let's do this, I guess. Circle change caps. Control cap, 10 outs. Probably won't happen, but we'll try. We ended up losing all of the games. Control, break, K per nine, hits per nine. Um, let's go break. Yeah, we lose all the games. <laughs> That's impressive. Let's get Adam Frazier up to the max. Heart and soul. It's almost level three. Okay, so here's what the lineup's or looking like today, looks like they're sitting exactly how we thought, except Jorge Polanco is going to be playing second. Josh Watson hops in the lineup for us. Uh, and so will Christian Arroyo. Luke Maley will play first base. But other than that, that's the only changes. Let's go ahead and get into this and hopefully get out of this losing streak. We haven't won since, <laughs> since Max pitched. Uh, so that's obviously concerning, but now we're maxed with a bunch of different guys like Reese, Luke, Jonathan, Randall, and Robbie Paul, and Adam Frazier, but he's not playing today. Anyways, let's get right into this. I'm going to leave this to Matt Veskirchen. MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Minnesota Twins. Twins baseball comes your way next. Gabriel Moya, the Venezuelan left-hander, will be the man on the mound. Dan Plezak, what do you got? This guy's a pretty good pitcher, and I was looking through the stats, and one thing jumped out at me, a sub 1.20 whip coming into this start that tells me a couple of things one he's not afraid to throw strikes and two. 
Okay. Now batting, Bernardo Colon. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. I think I just ate a bug. <sighs> okay, bad start to the game. Ugh. But good start game wise. Easy ground out to Josh Watson. One pitch, one out. Hey, if y'all want to keep my pitch count down, I do not mind. Digging in, Jorge Polanco. First pitch of the at bat. Drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. Oh, you, Reese, two down, two pitches, two down. Aaron Judge steps up to the plate. Hits better off righties, believe it or not, but still crushes lefties, too. He will first pitch swing, too, but he will get a hit. Two out single. Ball caught way too much plate. This is the real crusher of lefties on this team. Oh, Judge is going. Got a piece of it. Hamilton has thrown a little over 150 innings of work so far, and during that time, he's worked to a sub one whip, less than one base runner allowed per inning. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. Somehow got a piece of that. The next O2. He's fighting hard. He's late on an 83 mile per hour splitter. This fastball missed inside. Alright, well, he's going to make us work for this inning. Won't chase that one either. That's a strike, man. <laughs> Come on. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. That's actually going to get down. That's going to score one. Yeah. 1 0 Minnesota. Well, didn't get the call, and that's the result of it. That sucks. We've talked about how deadly this lineup is, but it doesn't help with the umpire place for the Twins. Got him out in front of one. Sano recently surpassed 1,000 career hits. And he swings through it, but sadly the Twins will put up a run. <sighs> one oh Twins. It's going to be tough against Moya, too, to get a run back. Hey, there's two. <laughs> I think Reese McGuire was the one that hit it. So our catcher's helping us out a little bit. Goodwin, a former Angel, is playing very well with the Twins. Circle change on 0-1. Got him way out in front. Sweeping curve. On the ground, played by Arroyo. Throw to first. We'll get him. One down. Now to the plate, Mitch Garver. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. And this will be fouled away. Hey, come on now. How about a circle change? Got him framed. We're now eight and a half back after, well, a tough run of games. 
But the Yankees are half game back. See if we can blow this by Mitch. A cutter. And we will. Second strikeout of the day. Strikes out the very good hitting catcher. Whew. Tony Kemp was an all-star this year. And he's hitting eighth in this lineup. He would be hitting a leadoff or second for us. Alright, Blue, come on now. He wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0 and 2. Didn't get it though, so now you have to make another quality pitch on one and one. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. Sweeping curve. Swung yes, sir. Tony Kip goes down on strikes. And we will still lead 2-1. Couple strikeouts that inning. Got it working today. Let's go. Max Kepler, the next to Kepler steps up. Hasn't really got that many plate appearances this year. Maybe they should trade this guy because he'd start for us. He has played his whole career in Minnesota. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1 and 1. And we got no out. Splitter, I don't know. That seemed like a weird pitch to go to. In for strike two. Hits the spot. From an offensive standpoint, they already knew they had their work cut out for him against a great pitcher. But if he's going to locate like that, this is going to be a tough day. Got him to pop it up. Oh, but we got a strong shift on him. He's super late, but we're still going with the sweeping curve. Maybe he'll chase it. He won't. Splitter, maybe? Hits it on the ground to our third baseman, Arroyo. He'll make the play. So he's thrown out by the only man standing one down on the, of the infield one away well it's still early but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league we could beat Moya today and actually take the lead in the AL tie for the AL lead in now Bernardo Colon over one here in the early going back to the top of the lineup Dang. That's going to be to Watson. I think he did nearly that exact same thing last time, too. All right. Two down. The two hitter, Jorge Polanco, steps up. Oh, that was perfect. That's a good cutter, too. Poor guy. Those are filthy pitches. See if Polanco will run after it. He won't. On the ground. Good play, Luke Maley. And that'll do it for the third. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Nicely done. The Jays lead it two to one. Nothing going on that inning for us either. Moyes threw four with two earned. Alright, we have to go through the three best hitters in this lineup first. For this inning. Strike one. 
Oh, way out in front. He's going to get the sweeping curve if we can place it. And it's a ball and two Nearly done. I don't know if that was a great take or he got fooled. He's certainly trying to play it off like he knew what was coming. You could bet he'd be on a And he chases the circle change. One down. Really that time for the first down. Made Fourth strike out of the game. Setting him down on only four pitches. And what I liked about all of those pitches, what they were down around the knees or lower. Pretty hard to do any kind Look of where pitch when pitches are we fought Castellanos last time, and that nine pitch is the one he hit. Hold on, let's show this too. That eight pitch was called a ball. Otherwise, it'd be too low right now. Oh, that's a bad pulse. Oh, and he almost made us pay. But he doesn't, and he's early, so he's going to get a sweeping curve. Yes, sir, he'll give us this one. Two down here in the fourth on the fifth strike out of the day for Max. That ball is just filthy. The circle change has worked well today. And it will work again here. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And it's quickly 0-2. Hey, just you and him. Game yourself. Cutter inside. And he fouls this one off. Is he early? One run, two hits. Yeah, he is. O2 to strike out three, four, five. Oh. What about a splitter? Swing and a liner, hmm. but foul. He's super late on that. Still O2. How about a fastball? No, watch it. It's really close. Well, this is an approach we've seen him use effectively lately. Set up the inside and then get him out with pitches away. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. How about that circle change? Yes, sir. Striking out three, four, five. Let's go, Max. I think we have eight, nine, one, two up. Nothing going for us that inning. Brian Goodwin. He's over one thus far. The center fielder. Brian. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. No offer at that one. It's a cold strike. Here we go, guys. Let's go. Drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. Yes, sir, Maley. That a boy. I mean, Reese McGuire through to Maley. Catcher to catcher. Connection there. And Brian Goodwin was looking to get on base any way possible. We do get the strike call there. Mitch was an all-star this year. We're swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Ball. Down and away, ball one. Come on, guys. Count moves to a ball and fouled off. Now. He's late. He's getting a cutter. The one See if we can tie him up. Almost. It's a good cutter spot. One run, two hits, and no errors. He's pretty late on it. Sweeping curve. It's gonna be on the ground. VR has it two down here in the fifth. 
two down. So this has been another fine outing for him this afternoon as we check out the league leaders in ERA. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. Yeah, we're off to a pretty big so lead. Two are gone in the Twins half of the fifth. And striding toward the plate to hit next, Tony Kemp. Kemp will watch a fastball, strike one. And just to prove, haven't checked in in a while. Legend. Did you see the ball boy? That was impressive. We're going sweeping curve. Strikeout. No, it will not be. It'll be a nice backhand play by Max, and that'll end the fifth. One, two, three. We're still up 2 1. We lead the hits game 3 2. Watson, Hoskins, and Grichik are due up for us. Three up, three down there, too. Stepping into the box. Max so Moya definitely settled in. He grounded out last time. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. And he'll go after Swings through a circle change well for strike one. One one. Uh, two ball, one strike count. Missed inside two speed. one. Foul Got him to foul that off. So it's two two. You're getting the sweeping curve. It's been too good. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Dang. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the lead off hit. Know the middle of the order is coming up right. Splitter? That's ah, going to be a hit, isn't it? Nope. Arroyo has it. And the throw on the first will take care of him. So he's one down. By the only man standing on the left side of the infield. I think he said the exact same thing last time. So coming to the plate, Bernardo Colon. He wants a fastball. I'm going to give him a cutter. Yeah, I understand that. And that's foul. He's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has yeah, Cologne's fast. What makes him successful. Fouled off. Low scoring game. It's late again. You know what? Keep jamming him. Three straight fastball type pitches will work. Popped up. Josh Watson will have it. Two down. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. All right, Jorge. Jorge Polanco. For two on his line thus far. First pitch of the at bat. Below the knees, one. Uh, I think that's a strike. Hey, with two outs in the number two hole, you're just trying to get on. You got the big boys coming up behind you. That ball's crushed. But it will be caught. Thank you, Lewis Brinson. I haven't had a strikeout in a while, but we're still retiring batters. Still 2 1 Toronto. 3-2 lead in the hits. Nothing has changed. Will Moya still be in the game? I'm not sure. It will not be Moya. He comes out and it's a two-run shot already. 4-1 lead for the Blue Jays now. Obviously, he's tough to pitch to. Just trying to hit spots here. In baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. On the ground, played by Watson. Throw to first, one down. Whip this one over to first in time for the out. Castellanos steps up. Nicholas Castellanos. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now. That's crushed out to the left center. Robbie Paul will be there. Let's go. Two down. 
Here's Miguel Sano. He hits with two away as they continue to trail in this close game. Well, Matt, this has been a big inning on the mound. He's had to face the middle of the game. And so far, he's held them at bay. Yeah, this feels like the kind of inning we'll look back on at the end of the uh, Not a good pulse. Changes dramatically here. This is on but a good result. Oh, what a play. Ah, we're not going to beat him to the bag. That was a phenomenal stop, but it winds up a base hit. And it'll be a hit for Miguel Sano. Oh, we've got him. We're in the seventh now. The sweeping curve. He actually fouls that off. He's late. And mm. fouls this one off. That's a good cutter. He's not going down though. That ball's killed. Base hit, 2-1, two, two outs. All right, let's be careful here. It's a really good pitch. Just better hitting. Ooh, thanks for the call. Not afraid to use showtime here. Two down, runners at first and second. See if we can run one in on him. Good job to ah. that one away and he stays alive. Hey, we got two. Two down. One and two yep. to the twins one catcher. I don't want to use showtime yet. And it's fouled away. Yes, sir. Strikeout number seven will get us out of the two runner jam. Still a 4 1, though. We've got. I don't know what that. Oh, that's one, two, three. All right, let's get another run on the board. Will not happen. Into the eighth we work. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looking really sharp. And that will be a leadoff single, and that might end Max's day. It will not. And that will help. One and two. A double play. Let's go. Yes, sir. At the plate, Bernardo, Bernardo Colon steps up. That just means we're going to have to face a tough part of the lineup if we're hit pitching the ninth. For their opponent on the mound so far. Strike one to start the at bat. Oh one, here's the pitch. But at the same time, I wouldn't be shocked if they put PJ in. And I wouldn't mind it either. Four to one is our score. Popped up. That's going to end it. And we're through the eighth. Let's go. Still up three. I doubt we're going to get any more help, but maybe. It will be PJ McNeil. And he ends it for us. Let's go. Well, baseball is a game of streaks and runs, so a four-game skid happens to even the best of teams. The key is they didn't panic or press. They just came out here, played their game, and put the losing streak behind them like professionals are supposed to do. Well done. And the score finishes. Well, when Max pitches, good things happen. That's just the way it seems to go, and Max rode it all the way out. Eight innings pitched, one earned run. I think only seven strikeouts, though. Yes, PJ got our save. Yes, sir. And, of course, Moya got that loss today. He didn't pitch bad by any means, but I will take that every day.
That's the stat line today. Christian Arroyo had a big homer. So did Reese McGuire. Castellanos had the only RBI for them. It was a double. And PJ got the save for us. So let's go. An all-around good day, I guess. The Cy is ours. The Cy Young is ours. <laughs> Anyways, can't go up any more overalls, but that is a 10-game win streak. Dang. Hits per nine is up to 95 now, and here's how the breaks progressed with the two times two stuff today. Actually did a good bit. Um, so, that's awesome. Nothing else goes up really, though, but hits per nine, so that's all we have to really look at there. So, I think we face the Orioles next. I believe that is their next game. We hit Kansas City here for three game. Or, no, it's actually Washington. All right. Haven't got to face them in a while. But anyways, now Max is 14-5 and five with a 1.29 ERA, 167 innings, and 185 strikeouts. Filthy. And then... We face them in the second of two. They're around our record. We'll head to Milwaukee. We don't get to pitch against them. We get Oh, we don't get to pitch against our former team. That sucks. But we'll just see. I want to actually go ahead and send this to see if we get traded. Here we go. Lose a game. Did we get traded at the trade deadline? No, but we will have a bullpen day. Oh, we need this. Yep. We need this. Yeah, it's complicated, though. Will we get traded? Oh, Clubhouse Day. Still with Lonnie Dunn. We're almost to level three. Here we go. We did not get traded. I repeat, we are going to be on the Blue Jays the rest of the year. And probably for a lot of years incoming. But, uh... Pretty rough streak for us again. In between, we went one and three. We'll face Eric Fetty and the Washington Nationals next. But with two months left to play, we're nine and a half back. I'm sorry, I just don't see it happening. Uh, but the Yankees and the Rays are going to battle it out. That's for sure. We're actually ten in the wild card, so that's no better. Now the Indians are, I mean, the Twins are still 13 in front of the Indians, but they're 71 and 36. Our next opponent, the Nationals, are 51 and 57. And, uh, yeah, let's check that award again. We're not in the MVP talks. That's actually going to go to Josh Bell, Giancarlo Stanton, or Yoan Mancata. Giancarlo, really? I think it should go to Mancata. Is Moncada not fielding well or something? No, he is. That's crazy. But we are going to win the Cy Young most likely if we can keep it going this season. Syndergaard got two losses in between. Moya obviously got the loss versus us. And Don Hoskins is now leading rookie of the year. That's what I want to see. Yes, sir. All right. Well, that's going to do it for me. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll see y'all in the next one versus the Nationals, which will be episode 150. I'll see y'all then. I'm out.